Hey, welcome to Kicking It With Mel's Thoughts. My name is Mel, and this is my first ever time to try to make a podcast, so let's see how it goes, and let's get right into it. I know that when I'm feeling depressed, I don't feel like doing much, but when I do push through my depression and try to do something to distract myself and try to feel better, I usually go to either watching a movie on Netflix, watching a TV show, watching some random videos on YouTube, some shows that I like, um, or I'll just start writing a poem. And sometimes my creative outlet when it comes to writing poetry is kind of just like over. It's done. Um, And it's really hard for me to find a topic or find the words to really describe how I'm feeling. Because I don't, I know that most of my poetry is revolved around depression, that most of my poetry revolves around these dark and pretty much sad thoughts that I have in my mind. And I don't want all my poetry to be depressed. Um, I don't want all my poetry to be Uh, pretty much, you know, depressed poems that people are like, oh man, there's something wrong with this girl. I also want to write poems that motivate people. I want to write poems about love, about friendship, about family, about never giving up, about having that motivation to keep going when people, or definitely when it comes to yourself, when you're telling yourself you can't do something and you're telling yourself, oh no, I can't do this. I'm never going to achieve this. And you have all this self-doubt. And I know that I um, am a victim of that. And, um, so when I'm feeling depressed and I'm at home, um, things I do to distract myself are the things I mentioned previously, watching videos and movie writing, um, because they help me kind of tune out reality, but also help me express myself if I'm writing. Um, before I used to work on my stories and recently I haven't even touched any of my stories because I haven't felt that creative outlet of creating another world which is kind of sad because I loved writing stories before. That was the main thing that got me into writing. And now I'm more into my poetry because, I I don't know, I guess it's easier for me to write poetry because it's an expression of myself. Um, other than writing a story where I have to think of the plot, the characters, character development, think of the setting, think of what's going to happen next, this and that, you know. And I got frustrated because I felt like some of my stories weren't good enough. I only had um, one contest where I made it to a semifinalist, um, but I didn't really get anything out of that. You know, I just got the label semifinalist, which is kind of sad because I thought it was going to be a lot more exciting <laughs> than I, you know, when I when they told me, hey, you're a semifinalist, I thought it was going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be able to, you know, have my story uh, seen by producers and all this, but nah. It wasn't that great. So that kind of, um, I guess you could say that made me feel like, what's the point? And I stopped writing for my stories. But getting back onto the topic of what do you do to make yourself happy when you're depressed? Um, I'm pretty interested in knowing what people do. I know a lot of people have different outlets. Some people go through, go towards the creative outlets of writing, of singing, something revolving around music or something revolving about art. Other people go towards other things such as, you know, being active, like playing a sport or um, doing different activities. And of course, there are other people that fall into drugs and fall into alcohol because they can't feel, they, they feel like they can't take in, they feel like they can't find any other way to just tune out all the problems, all pretty much tune out reality and just have sometimes themselves where they just don't feel nothing and you feel numb. But I know that for me, it's weird because I get depressed every now and then. I'm trying not to, well, I guess you can't say, oh, I'm not going to be depressed today because it's not really something you can control. But I try to tell myself, okay, I'm going to manage my depression better today. I'm going to try to find the good out of the bad situation. I'm going to try to be more positive. I'm going to try to do something that's going to make me feel good or try to find something that's going to make me feel good. So I won't feel like, okay, today sucks. I hate life. What's the point of doing anything? Um, so I've been struggling with that and it's really, it's, it's pretty terrible. Like I just try to 
try to find peace within myself, and it's really hard when I feel like my reality isn't really where I want it to be, even though I'm trying so hard to make it where I want it to be. But at the same time, I'm not trying as hard as I know I can because, you know, sometimes after work, I just feel so tired. I just want to come home and go to sleep. So I really want to tune into my creative outlet more because I know that that makes me feel good. When I'm expressing myself, when I'm creating stories, when I'm sharing it with people and people like it and they give me positive feedback and they tell me, oh, this is so amazing. Like, keep doing what you do. And that's what I want to do. I, I just want to keep sharing things that I create. And I want you guys to be a part of that. But I know that mental illness is very hard to deal with. It's it's a topic that's been talked about a lot more in me- in the media. Um, you know, since a lot of celebrities or people have come out with saying, hey, I have depression or, hey, I have anxiety or have some type of mental illness is just, that is making me feel terrible and that's making me feel like life isn't worth living. Um, I think that's good that, that there's a light being shined on mental illness and being, you know, it's being said that this is a real problem, you know. Don't, if someone's depressed, it doesn't mean they're automatically you know, a, a, a person that's always sad all the time because they want to be, or miserable all the time because they want to be, that's not the case. It's, it's a really, it's a very terrible thing to have to deal with. And I feel like lately my depression has been a little up and down. Some days I just can't take it anymore. I just want to be alone, shut everyone off. You know, some days I want to just call off from work and I just want to stay home and just want to just everybody leave me alone and I know that by doing that that's not going to get me anywhere but it's just that feeling that urge to just not do anything because I feel so bad really does hit me and when it hits me it's just oh it's terrible but I want to know you guys like what do you do when you're depressed to make yourself feel better and are you the type of person to keep it to yourself or to try to reach out and talk to a friend or a family member or someone close to you. Um, you know, it's just really interesting to me how other people deal with depression and anxiety because I know that I deal with it in many different ways. And, you know, some, there's some people that deal with it that maybe they're depressed. They might go out and buy stuff to make them feel better, you know. And, or there's so many different ways to make yourself feel good for a little while, but then everything comes back. And I think I really hate that. Um, I'm the type of person that it's hard for me to go to sleep sometimes. So I take sleeping pills every now and then. And the reason for that is because my mind just never stops. It just keeps going, keeps going. I start thinking about all the possibilities, all the things that could happen, all the things that I am not happy about with my life and how there are things I am happy about and but I feel like it's like I'm on edge with them I feel like they're gonna go away and it's just ah it's just so much but for instance like right now I'm doing this podcast um well I'm trying to do a podcast because I feel like hey I have the time I'm at home I want to you know work on my stuff to feel like I'm actually doing something to move forward with what I want to do with my life instead of just laying down and just being like, oh, I have work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I really hope you guys continue to check out my stuff, to listen to my poems and check out my podcast, which I am just starting out. I'm going to think of different topics, um, whenever I'm able to make the podcast and just talk about it. Um, maybe have someone on, <laughs> on the podcast with me. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking about different things I can do, but I just want to say thank you so much for listening and you guys are the best. And just remember, um, life is hard, but you can overcome anything and any obstacle. And no matter what, you are strong enough and you will always be strong enough to achieve your goals and never give up, you know? That's all I have to say. All right, you guys, this was Cooking It With Mel's Thoughts, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.